Number 12 on the chords homework. It's important to be resourceful when you're in a circle. When you feel like you don't have enough information to solve the problem, then look and see what segment could be reused. What segment I could move somewhere else in the circle and it would still work. So what I notice in this picture is that I have this 17, but it's really doing no good to me over there. I could draw either CA or CB. A radius in a circle is a radius. It's going to stay the same length throughout the whole circle. So I can go ahead and put the 17 at CA. I can rotate it around. And now I have a right triangle because that right angle was given to us. So I'm going to do Pythagorean theorem. 17 squared minus 8 squared. And I'm going to take the square root and I'm going to get 15. Now we learned that when a radius is perpendicular to a chord, it bisects the chord. So we know that both of those segments are 15 for an answer of 30. Number 28 is the next one we're looking at. We're looking for the measure of arc ROM. So this arc is pretty much 360 minus the measure of RM. So if you can see that that major arc ROM is really the whole circle minus the minor arc RM. And we know that when a radius is perpendicular to a chord, it bisects the chord and it bisects the arcs. So this is 52, this is 52. It's one of our theorems. So 360 minus 104. 256.